Hello everyone, it's been a while since I uploaded the last video, so I, I apologize for that. I'll be trying to upload more often. Um, I, w I just was uh, busy while I was in Korea. I plan to play more Yu-Gi-Oh! It, it, it is a OCG format, so no cash cheer, but I just played like for one week and then I just wasn't that interested in it, to be fair. Um, so I, I just did something else. More 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 just more than that, like you I was not interested in Yu-Gi-Oh! I just started playing uh Maple Story if anyone knows it. In Korea it's really huge right now. It's uh not the recent one that everyone's just playing like the version of twenty years ago because it's kinda officially launched again. Anyways, um funny thing is that the the, the main reason uh, I came back here to uh sh to upload some video here is also because of that because the person I play with also does like a small maple star YouTube so <laughs> I was kind of inspired inspired by that um, yeah so to this video um, I'm gonna talk about my ICSD experience it was around like two or three weeks ago um, I had no preparation and I didn't know what temp I did. I it, I knew all the cards, but like I never really play tested against it using Castira. So I, I was just, and I also live in Indiana by the way. So I just went there to just hang out with friends, no dedication or anything. But uh, I I think I did pretty well, considering I also bricked uh, twice uh, in nine rounds. I completely bricked, not that like I got hand tripped and have nothing. I just opened like five hand trip basically. Uh, and I went first in two matches. So considering that, um, yeah, I, I did pretty fine. And I just feel like the deck is still fine. Uh, it's just that a lot of people don't enter with cash in general. And also, not a lot of people really know about know how to play cash right now. Uh, cash Tira, uh, when everyone were playing Cash Tira, just had a really simple plan. Especially in mirror match, you just triple tech their monster and make Zeus or just go for OTK and stuff like that. Um, but right now, uh, at least the version I'm playing, it, the, at least for the main deck wise, by the way, it's pretty standard now that you play 17 or sometimes 15 and a couple of triple tech. Um, it's just uh, you need to, the, so the style of the deck is you need to trade really well every time, every interaction, and then in the end you either OTK or set up the board going second that opponent cannot uh, crack back basically. So um, it is very control heavy. Uh, anyways, uh, I went 6-3 and I just lost the last, last round because I bricked uh, going first when I want the Dyro and then game 3 Chimera just sets up the, the dark statue with the cornfield negate so I just couldn't deal with that. Um, other games, other matches were, I, yeah, I was, I was going like 5-0 and I thought I was going to top that event. But yeah, anyways, uh, this is my ICS list. And then I'm going to update this to how I changed it to, for, to prepare the, to play the uh, two box tournament that I played right after that, uh, one week later, the weekend. And uh, although it's not a YCS level, obviously, or not even a regional level, players are pretty casual. But obviously, for the like uh, last round, they're at least somewhat like regional level, like seven or eight round. But I did win everything, and I was like nine zero, including a buy that I got. So and I got two boxes uh, on Saturday and Sundays. So uh, I'll show you guys why I changed those and how each card works. So. During the YCS, I played the 17 hand trap version. Um, so, uh, nothing's really different uh, compared to the before LED format, before Tempai came out. It's because like Snake Eyes just doing the exact same thing, it's just their deck just got better because they got a new card. Um, so, the, for the side deck, I was afraid of Voices and uh, the Chimera and sometimes Raid Raptor. Some rogue matchups, I guess. And, Mainly voiceless. Uh, this card, uh, you you can just win it by drawing it. So I I put play two. This was for like siding pattern that I uh, I would like probably swap with the Nibiru and stuff like that against like labyrinth matchup. 
of course in Labyrinth Fetch up a lot of cards are bad, so we got outside in some other cards as well. Uh, but this kind of helps um, fixing your main deck style to be non-snake guy decks. Um, and then I, I played one Cosmic, so I can side in Cosmic going first sometimes. Uh, like for example, if Tempai is making me go first, I can side the Sin as one of the going first card, and it's like almost as good as any other card, any other side of the card. It just do it just does lose to these cards, so I eventually cut it also because I didn't really draw it that much. Uh, these three, I think, uh, instead of playing like one heartbeat, three cosmic, this is uh, slightly better because a lot of people are on are are on skill drain. It is true that Kestra plays pretty well in their skill drain, but uh, like if Snake Eyes set that up, Kestra can not OTK through skill drain. But then during their turn, they'll turn it off using cards like Snake Eye Ash and just kill you. So it is pretty important to out those cards. Uh, also, I have anti spells at one, and also a lot of people are just opting to play skill drain. Uh, before, I thought because anti spells at one and anti spells is a good card in general, but I, it will stop Stempai as well. I thought everyone would play as one copy, so I thought because of that, three cosmic would be necessary, but no, uh, everyone's just playing three skill drain, so let's play these cards, and you can also uh, out like Tempai board um, using Storm, like if they have uh, Crystal Wing and the, the Seal, and sometimes Venlo, they put it in attack, so it, it has good utilities as well. Uh, in, in the sense of clearing the monsters. Uh, I think I still like this card, I would not cut it in Kestira because we lose to cards like Evenly Way Too Hard and also cutting Normal Summon from Tempai and uh, Snake Eye is just pretty good. Uh, just be better than cards like uh, D Barrier sometimes. Uh, D Barrier, Skill Drain, uh, they were good, I just had no room to fit in like 3 of each. I would play 3 of each if my side deck was like 20 slots. Uh, from extra deck, uh, I put this in pretty recently, like uh, before I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh, like uh, two months ago. I think two is definitely correct, especially if you played it to big package. I might explain this if I have time uh, in this video. If not, I'm gonna cover it in a separate video. Uh, this card is mainly for like uh, when you draw this in the game one, and if this card is completely useless, you just make this, and then. Uh, sometimes it helps you birth back something and then just go for game under uh, f five summons. Uh, and like if they preemptively like mourner your unicorn summon, then you can uh, normal summon your level three, link this away, birth it back, and then declare the effect, th search theosis, stuff like that works. Um, so it, this could be any uh, synchro 10 to be fair. His own effect. Uh, to be fair, it just never comes up, unlike Baron. Baron is just a decay, so it'll come up every time. Um, other cards are all important. Only arguable thing, I think, would be cutting the SP Little Knight, the second one, if you have room for it. Um, now I'm gonna talk about how I change it for the box tournament. So, I just wanted to uh, put more going first cards. Uh, so, I had to cut some cards and then was the third skill drain and I just played one sphere mode because one never hurts. If you draw it, it's good. You never draw it as a duplicate. If you have prosperity, there's always a chance to dig for this one. So I did that and then dimension the barrier. I also opted to just play three. Uh, no particular reason, I just wanted to have like nine going first cards and against like decks like Tempai. And I swapped it specifically with like Cosmic Cyclone because the, the purpose was of Cosmic was is that I could sometimes going putting going first, but might as well just play D Bear against decks like Boisterous, uh, Branded, Pearly, uh, Tempai. So I liked it, and obviously, I, every, as everyone knows, it doesn't lose to cards like this, unlike the Cosmic Cyclone. So the, the Biru, uh I think you have to have two somewhere in your deck because it's really important card in Snake Eye. Uh, and then I played the third Ogre. It did. I didn't really like draw this Ogre because uh, I actually play like a German copy unintentionally. I just don't have three ultimate Euro English, and I just never saw the third one. 
Um, so, but if I play more games, like uh, uh, I'll I'll just draw more often against decks like uh, Tenpai and the Wasteless, so it'll help. Uh, I did play against one lab. Um, it is hard to win if you don't draw Ash Blossom. That's why you play Carjack Bell so that you have that as a pseudo Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom is obviously better, but uh, I did draw Ash Blossom luckily against the Labyrinth, so I could 2 0 that match. But not a lot of people play that deck, so um, that's that's fine. I think preparing for Tenpai and other decks are more important. Also, Ogre is really good against uh, Snake Eye, in my opinion. It doesn't do anything by itself, but when I go second, I will side these three in uh, and swap, uh, side out the ter the one Cross, Rhizor, and Theosis. Uh, and then for the extra deck, I just. Actually, in the YCS. No, never mind. YCS, this is this. Uh, so in the Saturday tournament, I played the Reptile Link 2. Uh, it was pretty bad, so I decided to just not play it. I just tried to wanted to test that card. Uh, and then for the Sunday event, uh, after cutting that card, I played the Ruddy Rose instead of the Chang'ing, because it has uh, more stats uh, under Skill Drain. I'm saying I I, I should say. So Synchro is pretty important under Skill Drain, so you need to make something that can. Beat over cards like uh, the the flame Burge. so uh, 32 matters, and then uh, hidden effect. If they try to heavy the lightning storm your skill drain, then you can tribute this card, negate the activation. So uh, under skill drain, you can this still works. So that, say that you have ruddy rose uh, vent row, then they storm your back row, then you can still chain it to negate it. And uh, and this will resolve because it was tributed, just like Access Code Talker. And uh, I played uh, Time Lord. I never made it, but theoretically, if you play against Tempai and they make you go first in game one, you will still have Warner because it's game one. And then if you draw it, you just make it on top of your board. Because uh, the only way for them to out is or drag Infirm Droplet and then the uh, the Black Rose that bounces. So, uh, because this has a uh, opponent cannot destroy it by battle or card effect. Uh, so, it, it can theoretically cut them up, I just don't know how good it is. But it doesn't hurt to have it in your extra deck because, as I said, you're not going to use this anyways. Um, and then, yeah, I played one SP for it. Other cards, I don't think I can cut it at all. The second one definitely is needed, I, and I summoned it a lot of times. So, yeah, that's it for the list. And I'm just gonna go real quick, quick I because th I think I covered it pretty fast. And then explain some utopic creature package. A lot of people just probably don't understand um, why it's played, or almost they don't know how to make it in general. So, say that you have this and one unicorn, so I'm gonna make it clear, you can just do it with one unicorn, and with one uni unicorn uninterrupted, you can do a lot of other stuff as well, like, you can, uh, if you have the field, you can, like, go for, almost go for OTK, or, like, make red eyes after that, and then, uh, you can just, obviously, make Shang, Venro, and then, uh, but anyways, going going second, you don't really make it going first. But say that you hand trap them a lot of times, so that they they have pretty much have empty board or like have just one an SP little knight on the board. So, and then you would also have one extra card that you top decked another hand trap. And these this couldn't be used because of the shifter, right? Say that opponent has one SP and pass. Um, since you cannot OTK anyways, you have to go battle and kill this, right? So this just died. And then main to declare the effect. Oh, uh, this is a little wrong assumption because of, you, you can't do this under shifter. Uh, so let's just say you ash them on top of it. And then you just have Theosis using the unicorn. 
Another thing, uh, something to note is when you go first, not it's not every single time, but when you go first, it's normally better to search first because it opens up the option to link summon SP or IP sometimes. Uh, but going second, you want to use Theosis because going second, Link Summon is pretty unrealistic in Kestira because you're gonna also use Rise Heart, Hand Effect um, to break the board. Uh, so it's better to search this and normally if you search this card and resolve it, you can add back Birth uh, using its Grave uh, Banish effect. So from here, bring this up. Search the rise art, spare some of the rise art, banish the birth, right? Now, uh, if if they still have like a card that Fentanyl can banish, then you can overlay these two. Or if they don't, then you can you can just overlay uh, Fentanyl. So you do this, and then you de detach to destroy two cards, right? So, uh, like. If Tenpai just left their main monsters there, you just destroy it. If you battled the SP and then they still have like Tempo, Ash, Poplar, then uh, you just destroy all the other cards. But clearing those really helps and it's pretty necessary to survive the next turn. So uh, basically, um, you detach Banish and then detach and then Banish, battle add back to birth. So uh, the second Dark Arm comes up, not in not in this situation specifically, but a lot of other times they have Imperm on, on Discord on the first effect. So your Banish effect cannot be resolved, right? So that because of that you cannot add back the birth. So that's why first after first one gets Imperm, you just make the second one. In this case, you would need uh, other card, like for universe Care Claw to push through their one negate, and then make the second Dark Arm use the exact same thing. Now you can add back the birth. So if you just have the scare claw or like field spell search scare claw or if you do it different way it doesn't necessarily have to be scare claw it just could be almost any of any two cast your cards you can push push through one negate add back birth and then birth will reborn something and make the uh oh so you you would have the scare claw right so you would make the second dark card destroy two more cards and then uh and then you will check the uh, Nibiru because this checks Nibiru and then you can if they ever nipped you then you can birth back the Fenrir, then banish the Nibiru uh, so at least uh, you have birth Fenrir and two other cards or one other card because this would be other card but this is also on top of you hand trapping them three times so anyways from the one unicorn hand uh, you would uh, have to use birth before the Nibiru uh, but the thing is, if you have the like Fenro, right? You don't you hold it until they're in the mirror because you never normal summon, right? So if they're in the mirror right here, you just normal summon the card. Um, so you make Dark Armed, destroy pretty much anything else they have, and then uh, overlay. So, uh, if you have, as I said, if you have other card's name, you can normal summon, and your ending board would be uh, Fenro, Birth, um, Draco, Future. Or if you haven't battled, then if opponents literally top deck and their deck cannot play through the four material Zeus, then you can Zeus on top of. It. For example, against like uh, Tempai. Um, Tempai maybe no. Uh, this would be better against that by but like against decks like Pearly, I guess. You can just make two materials just four materials just, I mean. But normally you just wanna keep this card as well, so you do make Zeus time to time. I did it a couple of times, but normally you just ended this. So the one other thing, more easier way to do it. I say it's not necessarily easier, but uh it, it's just more uh, safer. It doesn't lose too many cards. So there's multiple pairs, uh, but I'll just show with Unicorn Rizar, I'll say. So do this. Activate Theosis. 
summon the Fenro. Why is it? And then from here, because you already have Rhyzar, you just search the Scareclaw. If you have the Scareclaw, you search the Rhyzar. So uh, from here, you summon this out by the effect. Banish the birth. Let's say you're playing through one, one Diggy, right? Now they will... Uh, you activate the Dark Heart, but they, they negated it, right? Then... You can just detach just to get the Terry out if you want, and then now you can Scare Claw, Banish, add back the Birth. Say that they also have the Imperm, you only summoned uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the 5th, so if they have Nip, they can Nip right now. But the point is, you get the Birth before. Uh, without getting Nip, I bet. So now you make the second Dark Corn. Uh, destroy four cards, two cards because it's got negated. Uh, and then when you make the first one, they nibbered you. Now you have the Nibiru token, they have Nibiru on the board, you summon the Fenro, uh, battle bench the Nibiru because that's pretty important because they you don't want them to go draw for turn, battle Fenro and two negates are gone. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, by the way, before I end, I'm gonna start coaching because I'm gonna play Yu-Gi-Oh! almost every week now, at least. I mean, weekend now. So, this weekend I go to one 3v3 event and next weekend I go to a 3v3 and a regional, I think. So, I'll be, I, I'll be testing and then... Because of that, I'll be I, I'll be able to when I coach you guys. Uh, there will be more things to share compared to the time I had breaks. So I'm gonna repost that on my Calendarly so uh, community, and then there is a app called Calendarly that you guys can sign up. I'm gonna make it up to date so you guys can do it. Yep, uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.